You guys asked for another Supra Renders video, so I went back to Instagram for part two. Hey, my name is Eric, and the first set of images are from Flat Hat 3D. He is massive on Instagram, he's from Taiwan, and what we got here first is a hypothetical drag race between the A80, the Mark IV, and the A90, the Mark V. Who's gonna win? Let's find out. Flat Hat's rendering skills are absolutely amazing. They're super photorealistic. You can see this A90 has got these huge drag radials on it here. And the first race is gonna be the A80 versus the A90. So you can see the A90 here, the Mark V sort of launching. You can see a little bit of tire smoke, super realistic. Look at the reflections in the paint of what's going on in the background, it's amazing. So, oh, it looks like the Mark IV is leading here. Of course, it's got the 2JZ in it, so it looks like it is leading. Again, look at how realistic this is from the inside of the car. Here we got another shot from above. You can see this hatch inside the hatch. You can see this bar over here for support. You can see the parachutes in the back. Super cool, super realistic. You even got a little GoPro up on top here, and everything is super realistic. So it looks like the A80 won this, the Mark IV. Let's do another drag race. Let's do a quick reset. The next sequence is more from Flat Hat 3D. This is the Rocket Bunny Pandem Kit, which is actually going to be coming out in real life. If you don't know, Rocket Bunny is Kei Miura. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. He is a legendary body kit producer maker from Japan. And this set of photos is a collaboration between Chris Hill, aka the Slow GTR, and Flat Hat 3D. Ooh, I like this blue here. Look at how low this car is. I mean, this car is pretty slim. Probably not the way I would drive it personally, but oh, this is looking pretty good. So for all you anti-A90 haters out there, uh, I put this in front of you, and if you don't like it, well, too bad, because I dig this. I think it looks super cool. Um, again, all these reflections. Look at the ground. Just look at the way the car is sort of stanced out. And we, what we've got here is a couple of different wings. So the last one is the sort of GT style wing. What we got here is like a big lip. You know, you can look at the, uh, the front of the car. We've got uh, more of an aero kind of package going on here than the actual, the A90 has. We got much wider fenders going on here. Looking at the rear, same kind of thing. We got this huge duck bill at the back and so you can see the accents of the car. We've also got these super cool tail lights which are sort of Mark IV inspired. Okay, so here going on to the rear, we've got a pretty different treatment. I'm not quite sure. I guess like this is like forged carbon perhaps. Um, and we got these little winglets over here on the back and sort of an interesting look definitely a lot more wild than the stock one and you can see the side skirts here are also we got these multiple shapes going on pretty wild here we got a wing that just popped up here's more of a gt style wing here they are side by side definitely it's definitely a look not something personally i would run on the street but it's definitely a pretty cool look and i do appreciate it and i do appreciate how much effort Flat Hat 3D puts into these renders. I think they are stunning. Here's an amazing angle from, sort of a three quarters angle from the top. You can see he's got the little piece down here on the front of the car coming off the front fender as well. This little uh, arrow piece, but it looks pretty cool. Here's another three quarters angle from the rear. Mm, looking super cool. Crazy big wing. Here's one lit up. Flat Hat 3D says he saw the real A90 Super GT at the Tokyo Auto Salon this year and he thought it didn't look aggressive enough like the previous model of Super GT 2006. So here is, of course, the older car. This is all rendered in carbon fiber. So he took the, the Super GT 2006 with the new, the 2020 version and sort of mixed them up to make his own Super GT A90, which we're looking at right over here. Here they are side by side, lots of carbon fiber, some definitely interesting fenders. We've got this very squared off kind of look going on on the side here on the front fenders. And we got some crazy stuff going on in the door over here too in this crazy sort of duckbill wing in the back to really interesting and ooh look at this I mean just look at the rendering quality look at the amount of effort that he puts into his renders you can see the roll cage inside here you can see the light reflecting off the carbon fiber I really dig it now this one is a little bit of a troll I kind of dig it what if the front end of the Z4 or the Z4 for you Canadians and UK folks was put onto the front 
of the Supra and it was a convertible. So here he's sort of meshing the Z4 and the A90 Supra, kind of putting them together here. Pretty interesting treatment. You got the headlights from the new Supra, but you got the nose treatment sort of from the Z4. Here we've put them side by side and mixed them up again. So on the right hand side here, we've got the convertible version of it with a more uh, traditional A90 front end, but it's got sort of the, the Z4 convertible treatment going on. On the left you can see uh, his version of it there too. And here it is. I kind of dig it. I think it's, uh, I, d I dig it. I think it's a really fun thing to do. Here we are with a close up of the, the Z4 Supra. So for the people that want the Supra, here you go. Here it up. Here you go. This is it. If you like these renders so far, go follow these amazing artists on Instagram that helped make this happen. And hey, give me a follow too. Back to the video. This next set of renders is from Rello7. And he basically took some of Flat Hat's renderings and sort of reworked them and chopped them up with Flat Hat's permission, of course. So what we got here is, of course, the A90. And we've got an engine swap. We've got the 2JZ. And he's got this engine brace in here as well and the sort of polycarbonate hood window. What we have here is variations on a theme. So this first color is sort of a darkish baby blue color. Kind of interesting. Personally, I would rock it. I like this dark bluish purple a lot. We got some gray going on here. Then we got a 70s deep purple kind of thing. Uh, I really, I really dig it. We got this nice red, white, of course, and yellow. Mmm, gotta love that yellow. And this really darkish blue. I, I like blue a lot. Can you tell? So looking at the rear, this car has been widened quite a bit. It looks like the Pandem Rocket Bunny kit. You can actually see the rivets on this one, which uh, I don't think you can see in the flat hat render. We got blue, we got green, we got gold, we got mint, mmm, minty. And we got this sort of bluish purple thing. Oh, I like that. And white and yellow. Oh, I dig that yellow. Let me tell you what's going on here. So when I was in Detroit for the Supra reveal, Akio Toyota, the president of Toyota, made a very specific reference to the styling influence of the new Mark V Supra. And that reference was the 2000 GT. So Rello 7 took a 1967 2000 GT and he merged it with the FT1 concept and he kind of came up with this 2000 GT FT1 and we got this pretty cool spoiler on the back here too. Here it is with the spoiler down. Let me know what you think of this concept. So this is like super retro combined with the FT1. We've only got the rear view. I wonder if he's gonna do another render that might pop up on Instagram in the next couple of days. He thinks it's a bit of a troll. Let me know what you think. I think it's pretty cool looking. The next one up is Brad Builds. So we've got what looks to be sort of a California style landscape. Maybe it's the south of Spain, something like that. What he says is, I redesigned the A90, not because I don't like what it looks like, but because I think it's gonna be the next tuner car. Just like with the 86 and the other Japanese cars before it, there are endless possibilities of what can be done. So what he's done here is he's sort of gone with, I would say, a little bit of a Rocket Bunny inspired look. And the biggest difference to me, of course, is the nose. He's implemented the FT1 nose, the closed off nose, so we don't have the opening in the middle of the car. And look at all the details, look at the reflections, pretty interesting to me. And obviously he's gone wider with the whole car. It looks super, super aggressive and I'm just kind of digging it. I'm wondering if somebody's gonna actually come out with a bumper like this. Obviously the downside for a bumper like this is you're gonna have a lot less cooling. And if you remember the FT1 had a couple of fans on either side of this centerpiece. Probably not the most realistic thing to, you know, have fans in there. Obviously more complexity, but I do like the width of the car. It looks super aggressive, and I just, something about this render really, really appeals to me. We've got these little winglets on the front fender over here, and just a whole lot wider and more aggressive looking overall. These wheels obviously are a personal choice. I'm not the biggest fan of chrome myself, personally, and these little small spokes, but they do look pretty cool. It's certainly a look going on that he's got going on here. And here we've got a little bit more light. I guess the sun has kind of broken through, so a little bit more light on the car. Super, super cool renders. And I just want to thank all of these artists for 
taking the time to send me their work. Definitely go and check out these artists on Instagram. They're doing amazing work, amazing conceptual stuff. And it just shows how much community is behind the super that the fact that people are doing all this stuff. Anders is from Jota and he is from Venezuela and his power went out a couple days ago. And if you know what's going on in Venezuela, it's a bit of a mess right now politically. And so thank you so, so much for sending these to me. I really appreciate it. So he says, his main goal was to accentuate Toyota's design by exaggerating the curves on the fenders. I wanted something that looked a little bit more aggressive, even standing still. So one of the main elements, of course, we got going on here is this carbon fiber. We've got a much bigger lip on the front of the car. We've got some big side skirts and, of course, the, the fenders. And, of course, this huge rear GT-style wing. So this looks pretty realistic and, you know, something that could be accomplished with the aftermarket with body kits. I think this is quite realistic looking and I'm kind of digging it. I mean, it's certainly a look, not necessarily for everybody. We've got a little bit of the exposed tire in the back here. Uh, but I dig it. It looks really, really good to me, and the guy is doing some great renders. Hey, let me know if you want to see another renders video on the Supra. My name is Eric. Go ahead and hit subscribe. I've also got a Patreon account if you want early access to my videos and other benefits. See you in the next one.